My name is Alex Sarlabides. You've wandered in to the Dirty Jerrin Poetry Show here every Monday evening. Say what's up to the house band. His name is Martin. What's up, sir? Well, because the author captured the essence of suspense so well, mine was John Beller's. On dark and cold nights, those books I read as a child were better than any horror movie I could imagine. Every Monday night here at the, at the Dirty Jam, we got a little something called the bonus ruckus. Tonight's bonus ruckus is the Right Bloody Olympics Haiku Cracker Challenge, which is not, probably not the smartest thing anyone's ever done. Uh, so, completely, completely, like, weighs off the fact that, what? Oh, all right, I'll tell them. Um, Oh. Yeah. A cactus grows slow in the back of your dry throat. He tastes like hot sand. Yeah. yeah. Okay, I didn't know what I was going to do tonight, but um, then I took one look around the place and, well, this poem kind of chose itself. You'll get it. What compels a man to buy a moose head? <laughs> Second hand at a garage sale. I mean, and pretty soon word gets around the neighborhood about that weird head collecting guy, and the neighborhood kids dare each other to throw rocks at my house, and pretty soon I'm just drinking alone, just me and the moose staring into each other's glassy eyes, me yelling, Where did I go wrong, Bullwinkle? Is that your real name? Yeah, I can't believe that that was just in your notebook. <laughs> All hail the moves. I use all something extra in my belly. Tonight is motherfucking epic. Tonight oh, is the most epic snack time Nick Davis has ever concocted. Tonight we bring to you bacon. dust or what banged into what, but I do know there is hemoglobin running through my young blood. Oxygen in my cells means respiration can't transpire. Breathing in is key when you're trying to- my first time on this stage! Um, you know what I love about the Dirty Darren? Sometimes tubas just show up. And they're like, ready to throw down. Take that, can tab. You got no tubas on your own. This I found in McSweeney's. It's written by Colin. Missing it. I don't know about you, but I can't wait to get my hands on some fucking gourds and arrange them in a horn-shaped basket on my dining room table. <laughs> that shit is going to look so seasonal. <laughs> I'm about to head up to the attic right now and find that wicker fucker, dust it off, and jam it with an insanely ornate assortment of shellac vegetables. Get that man some cider! <laughs> Milligrams of cider stat or something with cinnamon. My whole body aches with sorrow and happiness. For a person I am sad to lose, but happy for. There is no more pain in his body, but there is more pain. Western Massachusetts makes some fucking crazy noise with John Survivor! <laughs> Middle initial S. Prisoner's name, Loretta McCoy. Relationship to prisoner. Her son, words, needled into the page's chest like a prison tat. A lesson, taught by Miles Davis to Chris Brown. I entered the house cautious, my tiny five-year-old face broken. A group of boys beat me up from my swing in the park. Well, Mom finds me, lifts my chin, gasps. She storms the back room. I hear her scream like rattling chains as she unleashes my 13-year-old sister. <laughs> she spent hours training her hair to behave for their amusement in darkness, to beg, sit, lie down, roll over, Play dead, storms brewed in a bedroom. In poverty, in the bottom of her purse, I brushed her hair till every bristle could ride her mane like a ferris wheel. When wings burst from her spine, 
feathered with acceptance, spanned across spears of coffins, and with one last breath, she glided right through me. Or then one day, death chased them back to our door. With the legion of lesions that chose his fleeting face to invade, and I could see the sickness as soon as I lifted the shade, my brother no longer able, but I was tame, just staring at him through a window pane. As he tried to turn his fate around, the locked doorknob. AIDS shrouded his flesh like an angry mob when he said, Yo, John, open the door! Yes! Yeah! Are you all ready for some devil grass? And no, you can't I'm smoke not it. sure! Jeff Seeger is Cowboy Matt Hope while they are Pontius Pilate and the Nail Drivers! Black Worcester punks, they don't understand irony. Oh, shit! Gonna go, gonna go, let's all go down to the inferno. Roll me up a joint with the Bible and some glue. Oh! All the craft is so happy. I masturbate. The image of your curse is integrated into my spank bang. And even though we're a part, I think you know what I'm talking about. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls. Or that nut that got you screaming that 3 a.m. wake me up to fuck and then let me go back to dream. An unexpected grace I stepped into the strength of seven who counted me among their brethren, each one bearing a separate lesson of learn to live, I've learned to love, I've learned to laugh, but first. I had a canary who couldn't sing, I had a cat that let me share her pad with her, I bought a dog that killed the cat that ate the canary. One of tricks is on my iPod, Star Spangled Banner. Jimmy's guitar upside down, played backwards, splitting notes like victims of a blast, fingers spread wide on frets like propaganda. Every good deed is done in the sun so God can balance her book. The last two, dressed proper in delicate thread, serving dinner guests, impressing relatives, free of dead skin, open as caskets on her dining room table, just pleading for food. You gave us 24 hours of the Michael Jackson funeral. Michael's mother already knew where he was. She said, if you had all your teeth, I'd fuck you. And the awkward spread amongst everyone in the room like a disease. I considered my words carefully, finished my drink, revealed my teeth again, and responded. This is the right bloody Olympics Haiku Cracker Challenge. Let's do two matchups right now. Chad versus Dr. Chris, Halliday versus Nick Davis, I want and then the winner of each. I don't care what you want. Nick says he'll do 11. Eleven crackers. Thirteen. Any more words of Humpty Hump? Let's get stupid. And that uh, they cannot sue Ralph's Rock Diner and or the Dirty Jaren Poetry Series. The sun just put half her weight in crackers in her mouth.
understand no, half of what he just said. Half! Half! I got half! Nick Davis wins the round! <laughs> Do you cap it at 10? Yeah, I'll cap it at 10, yeah. All right, Dr. Chris is going to get up here and do 10 crackers in his mouth. Yeah. That could help. You do? That's awesome. It'd be more awesome if she was inside. Like Nick, I'm gonna do 20. Nick's gonna do 20. I'll do 21. Dr. Chris says he can do 21. Is that certified nurse in the room yet? Sir, but your, yeah. your cracker champion is Nick Davis. I totally can do dumb things better than you. <laughs> and this, I like to say that when we compete, we all win. My mouth is bleeding. Bring a tuba to a poetry show. Well, the thing about that is, tubas need to happen everywhere, everywhere, all the time. I'll high five that. You know that Meat slapping thoughts beyond your capabilities. Take a walk, eat a sock, 